Oh, okay, so we're live. Ah, just got done watching Matches uh, live stream. He had a shout out to see if anybody wanted to do a live stream. And hey, Frank, uh, I figured I'd pick up uh, where Matches left off, at least for a little while. Um, I don't think I'm going to be on for too awful long. But I made a video earlier that I wasn't exactly happy with. Um, so I figured I'd just replace that with a live stream instead of uploading it. Um, so we'll see how this goes. It does, <laughs> doesn't make sense that, um, you know, one that I actually made in the can didn't work out. So now I'm going to try it live, but, uh, eh. Sometimes, sometimes you take risks. Um, I am smoking my 320 uh, Series 3 9mm pipe, and I don't feel bad about that, as I usually do, because I've been out of stock for some time. But the big announcement tonight is I'm back in stock for uh, Series 3s. Quite a bit of them that I was sold out of, and now I've got them back in stock. Sorry guys, I'm looking for a pipe cleaner. I actually just finished a bowl in this pipe, but I think I'm gonna load it right back up, which is something I don't usually do. But uh, sometimes when you're smoking that 320, you just wanna keep on smoking it. Oh no, one of my overhead lights went off. So, how's everybody doing tonight? I just caught the last maybe 20 minutes of Matches live stream. So I missed a lot of conversation. Let me see if I can, uh, well no, I'll just watch the, I'll try, try and keep up with the comments. Of course, after Matches, everybody might be commented out at this point. I kind of wish the uh, old khakis Happy New Year. Kind of wish there was a little ding or some sort of way I could tell if there's something up on screen while I'm loading my pipe. But I'm sure that would get annoying for everybody else. So yeah, that's part of what I wanted to um, part of what I wanted to talk about in the video I made earlier that I decided not to to uh, put up was that um, I've got about a hundred three twenty or I'm not three twenties I've got about a hundred series threes uh, in stock now um, back on. Thank you so much. I got my Friday 7 Ellie three days ahead of time and one day before Christmas. Wow. Odie Jones, glad to hear it. Glad to hear it. Wasn't me, I wasn't the miracle worker, but uh... <laughs> But yeah, I'm glad you got it uh, before Christmas, man. So uh, I just loaded up, or I just finished, some Stratford from GLPs, which as we all know, uh, this is Bradley from Stuff and Things. This is his new replacement for the foreseeable future for uh, Elizabethan mixture. Um, so I decided to give it a shot and put it up on the site because I know everybody else is curious about it. So I got an initial order of it. We'll see how it goes. My first impressions of it, I really, really like it. Uh, I really like it. I, I personally like it better than Elizabethan Mixture, which wasn't one, one of my favorite, wasn't one of my favorite uh, uh, Dunhill Mixtures. So, um, the John David Project, um, it's similar to Elizabethan in that it's a Virginia Perique, but you know, that's, for me, kind of where the buck stops as far as similarities. I mean, you know, 
it that's like Wendy's makes cheeseburgers and Burger King makes cheeseburgers. They're not the same, but they're similar. Um, I really like the Stratford better. It's got more of a bright kind of note to it, but it also has that, you know, that Perique kind of base note to it, or what I would call a base note, you know. Perique's kind of a funny thing. People have different um, reactions to it. I don't tend to think of it as peppery like a lot of people do, but that's just me. Oh, I found out that I can drag up and I can see the last couple of comments that I missed. So yeah, but I have some Stratford on the site now, um, along with all those Series 3s. And I know a lot of you have been looking for the 320s and the 673s in the Series 3 that I've had out of stock for quite some time. So get them while they're hot. I just cracked this tin off camera and I didn't mean to do that, but I also got some Fillmore in stock. Um, so I'm gonna load up a bowl of Fillmore which is another Virginia Perique that Bradley was considering. Um, and I took a look at my GLP's offerings. I didn't have any straight Virginia Periques in the GLP's line. It was, what I was carrying was very Latakia heavy, which is kind of odd because I like Perique a lot more than I enjoy Latakia personally. Um, so anyway, we'll see how this goes. Let me show you guys, let me show you guys the Stratford, which when I smoked it, you see how light it is. I don't see a whole lot of Perique in there. When I smoked it for the first time, it reminded me a lot of uh, Three Friars, um, which I think is Virginia Burley and Perique. But it smells similar, smokes similarly to the Three Friars, to me. Ohio Piper, how's it going? So, I'm going to load up this Fillmore, which is a Broken Flake, Virginia Perique, and see how it goes. Now, I'm not in the habit of just throwing things up on the site, but I know because Bradley made so many videos about... Uh, those three Virginia Perique blends, people would be interested. I don't know that I'll continue to carry them, but we'll see. Oh man, I can scroll back through all kinds of stuff. Matches, you're welcome, you're welcome. I don't have quite the, quite the people back on, so I should have just said, hey, I'm gonna do it, but, um, eh. I'll, I'll be on for 20 minutes at least, I would think. Not gonna make a, I'm not going until New Year's. <laughs> All right, so this is a broken flake. I'm gonna have to rub some of this out real quick. So what's everybody doing for New Year's Eve? I decided to stay home uh, tonight. I actually grilled some burgers. Oh, Odie, did I miss one of your comments? Let's see. Oh, did I find out anything about Peterson's tobacco? So from what I've heard through the YTPC um, and finally found some links to, uh, Peterson has been, the pipe tobacco has been picked up by Scandinavian Tobacco Group um, and I have a suspicion that the current offerings will sell completely out before, um, STG, uh, starts putting Peterson tobaccos back on the market. I have no idea what that timeline is going to look like. Um, so for now I'm just selling out of what I got. I can't get a hold of any more. That's all I can do. And then I'll take Peterson down from the site. Um, and hopefully, if it comes back to the U.S. market, which I imagine it will, um, I'll, I'll start stocking back up on whatever offerings they give us. Now, I've also heard that um, they won't be, most likely won't be coming back with all of their blend, all of the blends that are current. 
Um, Beardless Gnome Joe, thank you. Thank you for the shirt compliment. <laughs> I, uh, I've been collecting GameCube. Uh, I started collecting GameCube games this year and I just hit 100 games in the collection. Definitely have not played them all. Well, let's see what I've missed. Man, I missed a lot trying to load up this bowl. Jarrett, hi Eddie, I love your channel. I'm a new pipe smoker. As I have a friend that is an artisan pipe maker that got me started and I found your channel on here. Well, thank you, I'm glad you found me. No matches, nothing wrong with cobs at all. I saw that comment. Um, I always tell people if you're not if you're not sure about uh, you know whether or not pipe smoking is for you, start with a cob. That's a dirt cheap way to give it a shot. All right, I think I got this loaded up. Let's see if we can light it. Freshly cracked tin and this broken flake is a little moist. So I think it'll give me a little trouble. Uh oh. That's rare. Let's poke that bad boy back down. Maybe I didn't rub it out quite as good as I should have. All right, now that I know the trick about scrolling back up through the live feed comments, I'll see what I can get to. I never knew I could do that before. All right, let's see. Oh, Jimmy, glad you're going to order your first briar from me. I won't hold you to it, but if you find something you like, I would be glad to oblige. Odie, I saw your comment about McBaron. I also hope there will be no problem with McBaron. Um, I love me some old dark fired, so I hope that doesn't ever, ever go away, but I've stocked up just in case. And that stuff is great for aging anyway. Matches, the 673 is a good pipe. It's not my personal favorite, but who am I to argue? <laughs> I do like it. I've got one right here. One of my favorites, not my favorite. I would say my personal favorite is this bad boy right here, the 320. TJ Piper says the nine millimeter series, three pipes quickly became some of his favorites. And I agree with that. They quickly became my favorites. Oh, come now, matches. Now, for long uh, periods of clinching, I would say the 320 is pretty bulky. 
But uh, I don't know, I just, I like having it, like I feel like I got something that I'm holding on to when I'm smoking a 320. All right, let's see. I really don't have anything else to share, so you guys are gonna have to keep up with the comments. Or questions. Um, no, TJ Piper, um, Peterson's, I think for a time will lead the US market as they're switching over to Scandinavian Tobacco Group. And then the new versions will, will hit the market. And I don't know what that timeline looks like. So we'll see. Oh yeah, matches. If, if I had to keep a 320 in my pocket, definitely wouldn't be uh, my pipe of choice. <laughs> So yeah, really just the big announcements from the pipe note tonight are those series threes that are back in stock. Look for, uh, look for all the shapes I've got back in stock. And the addition of, uh, Stratford and, uh, Fillmore and to come will be Telegraph Hill. Uh, they're currently, Telegraph Hill is currently back ordered. Smoke and Chimney, uh, the 321, I love just as much as the 320. Um, I, you can look back, I think I still have that video live where I was basically freaking out because they made a smaller version of the 320. Um, Cause it has the look and the feel of a, of a 320, just in a slightly smaller uh, bowl. And I really like it. For those times when, you know, I don't have an hour to smoke the 320, because it is a large bowl capacity. Mm -mm -mm. So people have asked me uh, several times recently about... Um, smoking different types of tobaccos in different shapes of pipes. And personally, I don't, I haven't found any affinities either way as far as that goes. Do you guys have any suggestions as to that? Any, any findings that you have? Um, you know, I've heard people say that tall skinny bowls work well for like flakes or whatever. I mean, I typically um, rough up my flakes or, or completely rub them out, so that's not an issue for me. Um, but just curious what you guys have to say. Thomas Wilcox, good New Year's resolution, man. <laughs> Order something from the Pipe Nook in 2019. Matches, bull, uh, Bulldogs for Burleys, huh? Yeah, so I mentioned on your live feed that I've been smoking Haunted Bookshop lately and really been getting into it. And uh, it doesn't, the nicotine doesn't hit me anymore like it used to. So I can, I can sit back and enjoy that without being scared of what's to come. But uh, yeah, I really like the, really been enjoying the Haunted Bookshop lately.
Jeremy Roden. Having something to hold on to is like holding a woman. Is that what you said? Like having a woman. Well, it's not the same. But almost as enjoyable. Almost. Oh man, the feed just keeps coming. Fat bowls, I've been told fat bowls are better for English or Balkan blends. Hmm, interesting. Odie, the uh, Bowl Kentucky, I like it, but not as much as the Dark Fired. Everything gets compared to the Dark Fired. <laughs> Let's see. Yeah, uh, matches, I would say the Haunted Bookshop is tamer than Bold Kentucky, for sure. Simon, glad you found us. I might not be on much longer though, but uh, I figure I'd try to hit 30 minutes at this point. So, the Fillmore seems like it has a, well, it definitely has a different top note. Yeah, Odie, all those HH tobaccos, including the Latakia Flakes. Somebody asked about that earlier. Very nice, very nice. Um, that's why when I went with McBaron, I started with their HH, excuse me, their HH series. Bird's Eye Briar, hey there. And I may slowly add other uh, McBaron blends, but the HH series is far and away my favorite McBaron offerings. Well, I hope I'm not stepping on anybody else's live, live feeds. That was my concern as five of us would have started a live feed after matches. Trevi 114, is that Mystic 860? Mystic 860, copyright infringement. <laughs> the Trevi 114 KS, he's asking about. I, you know, I have all my stock inside, so I'd have to run inside to get it, to present it. The 114, that's the straight billiard with a saddle bit. I'm trying to think if I have something, uh, at least that shape out here, but I don't think I do. Because you guys that watch me know that I typically don't smoke the straight pipes. I like the slight, slightly bent pipes. I would love to run in and, and show that Trevi 114 to you, but it would just be dead space. <laughs> you guys would be staring at this stuff back here for like a minute or two. I don't have any hold music or anything. Odie, I haven't seen those, um, well, I haven't seen those melee pipes in person. I've seen them online, 
and they look fantastic, but I think they're a little bit pricier than what I would want to carry on my shop. Mystic, I do have, I do have all my stock here on site, but I keep it climate controlled in the house. So it's definitely not out here in the West Parlor. Thomas Wilcox, this is indeed a 320KS unfinished, um, which I announced earlier in this live feed. Uh, I do have these in stock now. And I know a lot of y'all have been waiting on that. I may send out a newsletter uh, update about that here in a couple of days, but I wanted to give the YTPC first dibs. And I also have other ones I didn't have in stock, like the 673, the 613, uh, 141, I think. Brian Jones. Is this Brian Jones of Shintoba Wasco Bay fame? In regards to my climate controlled protocols, <laughs> if I can survive in it, I figure it's good enough for the stock. So I keep it in my home office, which has pretty much become my storehouse for the pipe nut. Jason Ratcliffe is asking about comparing the Rossi Rubino 8320 to the Savinelli 320 Series 3. Well, the bowl is spot on. They're the same. Um, the stems on the Rossi 320 variants or versions, a little bit, they come a little bit thinner to a taper, but only just, only just so. Jim, Happy New Year to you. Odie, I do think it would be cool for Savinelli to have a matches 860 edition of the uh, 673. That would be cool. I don't know if Savinelli's listening. Probably not. Mm -mm. Virginia Perique, man. I mean, you just can't go wrong with it. Well, I'll say it this way. If you like Virginia Perique, it's hard to find a Virginia Perique you're not going to like. If it's not your thing, it's not your thing, but... I have yet to meet a vapor that I didn't enjoy smoking. Now, if they topped it with like, you know, Lakeland, I wouldn't enjoy that. Jim Ballard says, sent you an email about a month ago. Well, I hope I didn't miss it for that long. Sometimes email goes in my junk mail folder. Um, was wondering what your inventory was on your Cornell and Deal two ounce, 10 tobacco. Which ones do you have available for sale? Oh, Jim, well, you'll, you'll have to just go to the site, man. I've probably got, I've got, Probably 50 Cornell and Deal blends at this point. Everything on the site is available, unless it says sold out. 
but I do have quite a bit at this point. I actually want to try to cut that down to about 40. Like, I'd like to have a Cornell and Deal top 40. Because trying to get people, hey, Lawn Smoke, good to see you, man. The, you know, the pipe nook, um, I sound like a broken record, but, you know, I, I cater to the new and nearly new pipe smoker primarily, even though I like my inventory to represent, you know, you could camp there with what I carry and be happy uh, for your whole life. Um, but for new pipe smokers, even the small offerings that I carry, when they hit Cornell and Deal and they see 50 plus uh, available blends, that's tough to sort through and figure out what you want to order. Now, if anybody's interested, I do have a form email that I send out that I've written that's tobacco recommendations. Um, if you're new to pipe smoking and you just kind of are curious where to start, I've made a, a list of recommendations, maybe about 20, 25 blends in different categories. Mark, Peter Stokeby Luxury Bullseye Flake. That is a fantastic blend. I wish I had the space to carry bulk blends. I truly do. Stokeby, I'd carry about probably 10 of their blends at least but I just do not have the, t the space for bulk blends. Let's see. I've got some Stokeby out here. What do I got? Here's some Stokeby Luxury Navy Flake. Been aging since 2014. Oh, can't even open it. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Look at that. I don't see no plume on it like I've seen in 2013 blends that I've tinned up. Odie, if I could, I would. That 10,000 foot expansion, be nice. Um, but you know, I started the pipe nook with my own money and uh, no, no loan from the bank. I'm in the black now, paid my loan, my personal loan back off to myself. And I kind of want to keep it that way. Besides that, you know, I'm not, I'm not getting orders hand over fist. Uh, this is a good speed for me. Not getting rich, but it's something to do when I'm smoking my pipe out here. Box up borders. And if and when anything happens to the day job, I've got I've got a fallback. And you better believe I'd go hard and strong then. Oh, let's see. Pick and Piper says, Hey, Eddie, Series 3, 207. That's cool. Do I have it? I don't have a 207 out here. Brian Jones says, loved that Country Squire Radio featured you on their podcast. Would strongly suggest that your viewers check out the episode if they haven't listened. 
awesome episode. You're doing great things. Well, I'm doing, I'm doing what I can. And I had a lot of fun uh, talking to Bo that day. That was really cool. And it was really cool that they even thought to include me not only as representative of the YTPC to get that um, series started that they wanted to do, but, um, you know, they're a brick and mortar shop. And they do sell, they do have things for sale online, but they still feature the pipe nook. And I'm much appreciative of that. Law and Smoke asks if I have a favorite vapor. That's tough. That's tough. Um, I don't have a favorite vapor. I don't think. I mean, I love so many different vapors. The Stokeby, you know, Navy Rolls. Dunhills, Navy Rolls. The Stratford's pretty good, or the Stratford's pretty good. I just finished, and this Fillmore is really good. Like I said, man, I just haven't met a vapor I didn't like. Um, Gray Havens from McClelland was excellent. When you talk about vapors, um, you know, there are, there are some blends that are Virginia Burley and Perique and different things like that that I kind of lump in with vapors. Um, where is this at? I'm about to spill over my tower of tobacco over here. Navigator from GLPs is one of my favorites. Oh, uh, Cornell and Deal's Speakeasy is a good vapor. What's in here? Virginia. Dark Fire. This is a Virginia Dark Fire. Sometimes Dark Fired and Perique, depending on the um, percentages used, um, can mystify me as to what I'm actually smoking. I'll see if I missed anything. Escudo, Thomas Wilcox, that is also a very good vapor. Um, uh, Blue Ridge from Cornell and Deal is excellent, but I think there's some Black Cavendish in that one as well. Acadian Perique is really good from uh, McBaron. Hmm, other vapors to recommend. That ought to get you started. <laughs> I don't have anything to drink out here. So I'm probably gonna cut this off in a, in a minute or two. I need to go get something to... Hey Jack, good to see you, man. Magician Piper is in the house. Happy New Year to you. Good to see Y2K plus 19 didn't take us out. Oh, there, there went a big one. Let's see. Jimmy, did y'all hear that lid pop when he opened it? Oh man, okay, so another one that I wanted to mention that's no longer on the market, unfortunately, is uh, 
uh, who made that. Um, Drew Estates, uh, Gatsby, Flake. Oh, that is some good stuff. I don't know what it's topped with. I never figured that out, but very good Virginia Perique. When I heard that was going on off the market, it went on sale somewhere and I, I bought up a bunch of it that's cellaring right now. I didn't really dig a bunch of Drew Estates blends um, because mostly they were pretty heavy aromatics. Uh, it's just not my thing, but uh, I really liked the Gatsby Flake. It has rained all week here, off and on. I, I haven't seen this much rain all year, probably. Still raining out there now. Gonna bring in the new year with rain. We'll say that's good luck. What do you think? Jack, how hot is it? Ohio Piper says, question, I got some HH Bold Kentucky. I read the reviews on it, strong on nicotine. Should I wait a while on it, cellar it, and have it for a couple of, oh, had it for a couple of months now? Um, no, I mean, you could, but if you're curious, have a nice big dinner and uh, open that thing up and try it on a full stomach. See how it does. Now, the Bold Kentucky is not to be toyed with. Um, it's one of the strongest blends I've ever had. Now, I've never smoked any of the rope tobaccos that people talk about, but um, Bold Kentucky is very strong. It's up there with Irish Flake, if not a little bit more so uh, than Irish Flake as far as nicotine strength. And if it's too much for you, buy you a 12 pack of these mason jars and just file it away. Come back to it later. That's what happened to me with Haunted Bookshop. You know, the first couple, three times I tried Haunted Bookshop, ooh, I was not feeling it. It was too much, too rich for my blood. And now that I've come back to it, I thoroughly enjoy it. Magician Piper, 42 degrees. It's up to 42 degrees. That sounds freezing cold to me. Because I don't know Celsius from Fahrenheit. But I'm going to take your word for it that that's really hot when you're upside down. Mm-mm-mm. Well, we are closing in on 45 minutes, and that's about 25 minutes more than I was hoping for. But I enjoyed it. Glad you, uh, glad you all got to see me this uh, evening. I hope all the best for your 2019s. Try and steal yourself a kiss from somebody. And uh, we'll chat with you soon. Happy New Year, you guys. Good night.